welcome and or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassandra. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. If you're returning, thanks for coming back for another motivational video. So today's video will be jam-packed with tons of cleaning motivation as I clean and organize my bedroom. You can clean with me now or watch now to get the motivation you need for later. Either way, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. I'm going to jump right in and just get started on making my bed. I always start there because for some reason, I feel like once I made my bed, I'm like halfway done because it takes up so much space in the room. So it just feels like I'm more than halfway through, even though I know that's like the simplest thing to do in this room. But that's just my mindset. So that's what I roll with. Let me know. What do you start with when you start cleaning? Do you jump to the bed or do you like do everything else and then do the bed last? And then on top of this, I want to put some stuff on the bed, especially like I had some laundry laying around that I needed to fold up. So I needed the bed to be made to actually do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. This town's so lame. I'm feeling so wired. It's 4 a.m. I'm not even tired. We're in your car. We can drive away. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all These few items I am like super excited to show you guys. These were custom made by my younger sister. Her Instagram is Moy Crafts. I'm going to leave it in here somewhere and I'll also put it in the description box. She custom made every single one of these items I'm going to show you. The first one is going to go on my door. I have not decided if I'm going to do a full decorating for Christmas. But starting off with these custom ornaments for me, the kids, everyone in my family, my household, she custom made these for me and they were not expensive for her to do. So I am like so in love with these. Like I am absolutely in love with these. I cannot wait to put them like up because they're making me so excited. I'm going to have her do a few more for me. And I'll show you guys those. I did not expect for them to come out so good. And these are custom stockings. I did get everyone their own stocking this year. Last year, we just did um, the kids decorated theirs. So this year, I decided to go ahead and get the custom stockings that she also made for all of us. So this is Carter, Caden, and mine that I'm showing you along with the balls. So I'm super excited. And don't forget to check out her Instagram. I'll definitely leave it below. Moving on, I'm going to go ahead and try to get everything cleaned up off the floor. A lot of these things are clothes that I just bought the kids. And they tried them on and they just dumped everything on the floor. And some of those are some church clothes that I had just bought them that I needed to put away. So just pretty much cleaning up. That's Carter. Every time you see like the camera shift, he's the one that's bumping it bumping my tripod so that's why it's shifting here and there but yeah so I just needed to hang up all the stuff that I need to hang up and just kind of like clear the floor and then like start decluttering and getting rid of things that I know I don't want or the kids don't need stuff like that
desk area I am not sure why it's always so messy and why it becomes like our dumping ground during the week because I don't really work up there I typically plug plug into my monitor and move it to my bed in the morning which the monitor broke so probably that's from what so I don't know like I just cannot keep this area organized it's a disaster like every two days and this week we were having like all have an asthma attack due to the weather change and one day it's hot one day it's warm so I just wasn't in the mood to keep cleaning when I'm already having to take care of two asthmatic kids and myself so it just was not a high priority so you'll see like I have like a blood pressure cuff a stethoscope because I had to keep constantly listening to them, checking them, getting their posts and stuff like that just to make sure, you know, they're not having too much of a difficulty breathing and that they're not wheezing for me to take them to the emergency room. So here I'm just doing like an Instagram real situation here. Um, so that's why I have my camera out. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you are. It will be posted below. So here, because now I downsized to one monitor, I figured I could de declutter here and take a little bit more stuff off of here. So it's a lot more neater and cuter, I should say, because I don't go for cuter. I pretty much go for functional because the space is so tiny. I try to make sure it's more functional than anything else. So for me to have more space up here and try to minimize the clutter, I told myself I'm just going to get rid of some of the stuff up here that don't need to be up here, take everything off, wipe it down, and then I'm going to go ahead and like put back what I know I absolutely need to use, take whatever I'm not using to the bathroom. That spray is what I'm using. It's a disinfectant spray. That's the only one I could have found. Um, on short notice, I don't know where my Clorox and stuff were, so that's what I use. Now, anyway, so I am definitely going to put, like, all these things back in their rightful place. Whatever, like, medication and stuff like that needs to go into the cabinet, except for the ones that they take on a daily. Those I keep in my room because I have to remember to give them those. So... Now that we're feeling better, I want to make sure I disinfect everything so there's no germs, there's no nothing. That's why I'm using that disinfectant because it's not so strong scented. So that's my main concern when buying products because of the asthma and like we're very hypersensitive to smell. So it's not good. I don't like anything with a perfumey smell or anything like that. So this I don't know like let me know if anybody else is like that like they just they can't keep a area in their room clean let me know what area that is for you for me it's my bedroom I cannot keep that clean because I'm in there most of the time that's where I work everything so I'm in there constantly the whole day and we don't have a lot of space, so it get tends to get crazy. Y'all know what? Let me stop rambling so I can play some good music so y'all can enjoy the rest of this video. And I will definitely click back in in a moment. Set your sails 
much stronger than they will ever be Don't you know that you're beautiful?
on my bed are the things that I know I need to put back in their rightful place and they don't belong on my um, desk area so that's why I'm getting all the stuff out and I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum and um, I didn't mop this day because I knew I was gonna have to mop like a day later for Thanksgiving and so I was like I'm just gonna hold off I'm just gonna vacuum and leave it as that and I want to say thank you guys for clicking on this video and making it this far if you do enjoy my content make sure you subscribe to my channel and also keep in mind turn on your post notification because y'all know I am horrible at keeping a schedule as y'all can see so um this is just gonna go ahead and show you what I have to get done just clean up here and then you'll see the after. Mm -hmm. 